Hello everybody, I'm your brother Nine, and welcome back to Sonic Adventure DX. In the last episode, we finished off all of the trials in the game. We did Big's trials, we did Gamma's trials, and now we have no more trials in the entire game. And we're only 11 emblems away from having all the emblems in this game. It's, it's getting down on the wire, guys. And in this episode, we're going to do some Chow stuff, hopefully... We are going to do all the Chow races and show everything that we can there, but first, I got some update stuff to show you. Some things happened while we were gone. Actually, not some things, a lot of things happened while we were gone. And so I figured I might as well cut to those right now and I'll see you in the garden after that. Okay, so first off, we have three Chow that have evolved since. The first one here is Seikos. Seikos has evolved. Now, Seikos didn't evolve into what I wanted to, but I'll talk more about that in a little bit. For now, I'll just kind of let you watch the evolution. I'll get back to you when we get to the next person who evolved, because there are three of them and the evolutions kind of take a little while. Alright, so now next up, we have Broski. Broski also decided that he wanted to evolve, so he's going to evolve just as well. You could also see Seikos was kind of in the corner there for a second if you didn't get a good look at him before, which I don't know why you wouldn't. Alright, and now for our last one, you should probably know who it is by rules of elimination, we have Kami. Kami also decided to evolve. However, this is not the only thing, evolution that is, is not the only thing that has happened since last time that I want to talk about. There were two other things that I have yet to show that I will be showing as soon as Kami finishes his evolution, which will be pretty soon. Alright, now for what we're really interested about. I was walking around the garden when you can see that Sanic here has a bunch of flowers chilling around him and a heart. This means it is mating season for Sanic. And if you find another Chow who is also around mating season and you kind of bring them near to this other Chow, they will eventually go up and they'll kiss and they'll do a whole little dance like you can see right here. Some fancy music plays. And you get yourself an egg. This is how mating works in the Chow world. That's what they kind of do. And I kind of love how Sanic here just does some breakdancing like, Wow! Just had a kid! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! I, I thought that was hilarious how he decided to breakdance literally right after having a kid. I decide to hatch the Chow. It's going to be a gold Chow, but I'm not going to do anything with it. It's a gold Chow because if, there, if there's a two-tone Chow like Frown Jr. and a one-tone Chow, it should take the form of the one-tone Chow, so that's why this Chow turns out to be one-tone. Breeding has a lot of interesting stuff about it. The kid should have the stats kind of combined between the two parents, so kids almost always have a better stat. And by the way, there's another breeding that happens. Destructo here also decides that he's ready to breed, so I decided to grab my other of the original four, Jeff, and breed Jeff with Destructo. And this Chow will be a Silver Chow. Now, uh, another interesting thing about breeding is that breeding marks 
the arrival of the second transformation. Once a Chao gets to the age that it can breed, this means that that Chao is ready for its second evolution, and that will start to happen uh, as soon as breeding has happened. And even if the Chao didn't have flowers around it, like Jeff and Frown Jr., they were able to breed with Destructo and Sanic, which means they're also in the mating season. So they are able to go through their second transformations. And then you'll eventually have another mating season at the end of the second transformation, right before your child will either reincarnate or die. Alright, so yeah, a lot happened while we were gone. And I guess right now I will go through, show you all my child real quick, and then we're gonna try and take on all of those races that we can oh actually there's a little something i want to do before the races but first off here we have jeff who is looking mighty fine if i do say so myself you see all the animal parts on everyone's going to be a little messed up because i've been feeding them different animals of course jeff here has been getting some power well a lot of power look at that 99 power 2200 in the power stat i'm pretty sure he has the highest stat of any child that I have in my entire garden. His fly at 93 is like half, it's just a little more than half of that, so his fly is a horrible stat. And his swim's up there at 53, so Jeff is looking powerful. He's starting to get a little dark green, and his, his little spike things are curling up, so he's looking more and more like he should. Uh, who's next? Over here we have Sanic, who's asleep. I'll leave Sanic be for now. Oh, all right, I guess we have Kami, who is looking fine. Kami's getting more power. Uh, so now I'm doing the second evolutions for this second group of Chao, these three uh, Chao that are Hero and Dark Chao. Kami here is going to be a Swim Power Chao, and you can see the his little ear things on the top of his head. They're not really ears, but whatever those are, they're starting to get super pronounced and his head's getting pretty big and his body's getting pretty big so Kami is doing just fine uh, next up of these three we have this bro rolling over here and I don't just mean this bro as a uh, chow bro because this is broski who is also looking really fine broski now has 81 run broski's got some pretty good run going on it's not fantastic I'm pretty sure broski's best stat is actually uh, fly, maybe? I think Broski's best stat is fly. Broski hasn't really had too much change in the color department, which is a little disappointing, but as Broski gets older, the colors will change, and Broski will look super cool. I can't wait for Broski to go through that second evolution. Next up, we have Destructo, who now has complete fly, because Destructo is a power fly chow, so Destructo is complete on all the fly. However, the head, you can kind of see that top spike on his head is growing upwards and then the two on the sides are growing upwards too he doesn't look nearly what he's supposed to just yet but don't worry as time goes on he'll go up and this isn't the last child episode there's going to be a bonus episode at the very after i finish the entire game that i'll show all the chow when they're super complete and they have all their um everything in their second evolutions is complete so destructo is looking mighty fine who else? Who do we have left? Let's see, we had Kami, we had Broski, we had Jeff. Oh, all right. Here we go. We now have Seikos, who I'm giving power. Seikos did not turn out the way Seikos was supposed to be. Seikos was supposed to be a dark flying chow, but for some reason became a dark power chow. What is it with my flying chow not becoming what they were supposed to? Jeff was supposed to be a neutral flying and became a neutral run. And Seiko's here was supposed to be a dark flying and now became a dark power for some reason, but I decided whatever, I'll go with power and make it a dark power power chow. So Seiko's will look pretty good. I'm really disappointed that Seiko's didn't turn out the way he's supposed to because his name was supposed to be a pun because the dark flying chow, if you give it, um, I think it's dark fly power, it might be dark fly power, it will turn into a chow that kind of looks like uh, the devil or some kind of demon. I will show a picture of it up on screen right here. It's supposed to look like this. And so I figured, well, I could name it Satan, but how, how about I throw a little bit of a math pun in there and name it 
say cos, like cosine. But then we had Seikos evolve into the wrong kind of Chow and mess everything up, so yeah, that's kind of disappointing. We have two other Chow left, though. Uh, Alright, well, you're still chilling there. I did see Sanic. Sanic here is looking fine. You can see quite different from Jeff. Where is Jeff? Uh, Jeff's over here swimming? Yeah, so for a little bit of a comparison, you can see instead of the... Um, the spikes curling upwards, we have the spikes curling downwards, and that's because uh, Sanic is a neutral run run chow, as you can see with the 99 run, doing just fine there. And I guess if you could see colors, it would be turning more towards a uh, dark or a light blue, kind of dark blue color. He'd, getting, he'd be getting bluer and bluer, closer to what Sonic would be, of course, because it is a Sonic type chow. Um, but yeah, that's all the Chow that we have. We did see some of those Chow that were, um, hatched, but I'm not gonna do anything with them. I mean, I might, but you're not gonna see, like, any of that. However, there's one last... Oh, oh, you know what? Wait, hold up, that's not all the Chow. We have Mr. Frown Jr. here. And Frown Jr. hasn't really changed much, um... Honestly, I'm kind of disappointed that it hasn't changed much, so you can't really see anything. But don't worry, as time goes on, Frown Jr. will drastically change and will start looking really good. But Frown Jr. does have a lot of swim, 99 swim, even though it's only 1,300, so it's not actually that great. I'm pretty sure Jeff has something really close to that with only 50-something swim. So Frown Jr. is not a very good swimmer. So, of course, I made him a swimmer for some reason. And I also decided that I would give... Frown Jr. all seal parts for Frown Jr.'s final look. So yeah, there's a bunch of Chow, they're doing well, but I have something a little special to show you. Um, which garden is it in? I don't remember which garden it in, is in. There's something that I, I want to show you guys that I've been waiting for for a while. I don't remember which garden. I think I put it in this garden? Maybe? Oh, is that it? Yes, that is it. This here is a shiny white egg that I decided I would buy. I figured I would buy some kind of egg eventually. In the black market, there are, I think, eight different colors of eggs you can get. And then after that, you can start buying shiny versions of those eggs. So they'll be all shiny and glowy like this right here. I figured I'd go with white because we had the black chow, so it's kind of the opposite. But I figured I'd go with shiny white because shiny is always better. And I figured I'd kind of show you guys this chow right here. I will be, uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna hatch it right now, but I will be raising this chow between now and the bonus chow episode. And you'll see, uh, something, I'll try to make it a little interesting so that this chow has something a little special, but oh, man, look at this chow glimmer. I have no idea what I'm gonna name you. Maybe I could name you Glimmer. I might name you Glimmer. But yeah, so that's what a shiny chow looks like. I really, really like the shiny chow, and shiny white's actually one of my favorites. I just think it looks super polished. It's so cool. But that is everything I want to show you about chow. How about we get into some races? The chow were looking mighty powerful, if I do say so myself. But each of them had like 99 in a stat. Well, not all of them, but we have all the original chow have 99 in a stat, so... I'm thinking they can they can wreck some other chow up on this chow race over here. Let's go to the jewel race. Which are we gonna do first? Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay. So look at this. Swim 99, 1,369. Swim 53, 1,300. Is horrible. Horrible. Okay. But we're gonna put Frown Jr. in a race. Hopefully things go well. Because I'm yeah. Frown Jr. definitely has the best swim. So, yeah, we're going to put Frown Jr. into the swim race, which I don't remember which one. Is that Ruby? Yeah, okay. Frown Jr. is going to go into this Ruby race, and... Oh, okay, I hope this goes well. I have no idea if these Chow are going to win these races. I really hope they do, because I need these emblems. And, I mean, I would expect them to, because they do have 99 in the stat. Oh, wow, way to have the late start. But, I don't know, maybe, maybe things won't go as well as I want them to. Oh, whoa, hold up. Never mind, just kidding. Even though we don't have a very good 99 stat. Look, look at him go! Holy crap! Brown Jr. pulling through! Man, he is dead!
devastating. They don't stand a chance. Whoa, look at the look at this record-breaking time right here. Okay, well, if you turn to the right chap. Yeah, 29 seconds. Beat the old record by 5 seconds. Well, I I had I had worries about this, but I'm not sure I have to have any kind of worries anymore. He just dominated that. Also, we got Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine for 120 emblems. We only have 10 left now. Also, what's with this view? Alright, whoop! Sonic! What? What was that? Uh... <laughs> okay... I will just, uh, I will just pretend that did not happen and continue on with my life. Um, hmm. Alright. I guess we'll go to the power one? Yeah, let's do the power one with Jeff. Which is the power again? I don't remember. Uh, Pearl. Pearl's power, isn't it? Strong child! Yeah, okay. Well, now we're gonna do this Pearl, and pff, I the way things went before, I'm pretty sure that Jeff is gonna dominate this race. I mean, Frown Jr. doesn't even... Jeff has 2,200 power. Jeff, or, uh, Frown Jr. only had, what was that, 1,300? I'm expecting all sorts of great things from Jeff. Oh, well, maybe if you trip, I won't expect great things from you. It looks like it looks like we're doing well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We completely devastated them. They're not even close. Are we going are we going to beat the record? Oh. 1996. Oh! Yo! 1996. That's my birth year. That's what I'm talking about. That's good stuff. How how lucky is that? Nice. Way to go, Jeff. So, ooh, we are we are dominating here. This is going much better than I expected. I am I am absolutely satisfied. All right, who's next? I think Destructo's next. We'll put Destructo into something. What do you got, Destructo? I'll probably put you into the flying one because I mean you do have 995. Whatever, it's a it's the amethyst one, right? What's this strong chow and chow that can swim well? Um. Hmm. Well, this is the one. This is actually the only one you beat before, other than Strong Chow, of course. Let's. You know what? Let's do it. I might not win this race because his stats aren't super fantastic, and this one requires a lot of running, so it's not like great in that area. But things might go well, and if they don't, then well, I guess I can cut out the rest of the race. If we, if, if it's obvious that Destructo is not gonna win, then I can always cut out the race. But no, things are things are looking really fine. Until you trip. Oh, I, I guess I didn't notice. I didn't mention. I mean, I noticed, but I didn't mention how the Chow now no longer. Uh, they no longer. Hello, Destructo. Come on, let's go. They no longer crawl. They definitely actually walk or run in the races when they're supposed to, rather than because before we had them, they could walk, but in the races they were just kind of still crawling for some reason. I guess it's when they learn how to do that kind of marching look that they that looks like they're doing right now. When they learn how to do that, that's when they have the ability to do all this stuff. I don't think Destructo's gonna win this race, but things aren't, I mean, we're, it's not horrible. We're all really close to each other, so it's not super bad. That Chow, that orange Chow right there is a power Chow, so of course he's doing well. Let's see, this Chow that the curse is currently on that's in first, that's a power Chow too. That's just like uh, Seikos. Seikos is supposed to look like this dark purple Chow. That's that's what the dark flying Chow is supposed to look like. But, oh no! No, Destructo, get up! You were doing so well! Dang it! Aw, oh, man. Thing oh, whoa! It's flying all over the place. Did that put us... Bruh! Way to go! I, I didn't think flying affected things that much, but holy crap! He just... What?! Oh, man! That was insane! He just went from last to first! That was incredible! Holy crap, Destructo! I am... I am at a loss for words! That was... That was amazing! Whoa! So apparently flying does affect the races way more than I thought. It seems that they, they fly more along, they have the, like, the same kind of track, whether they're flying or they're swimming, but if they're flying, they move a lot faster along that track, and then they just kind of, wherever they land in the water, they continue along that track. I had no idea. Wow! That was so cool! 
All right, now we only have two more races. Um, I don't remember what they are. I know, I know there's the emerald one, right? Let's see, so we did pearl. We did sapphire, that's the one we just did. We did ruby. So amethyst, is it, amethyst is the one? Chow that can fly can take advantage. Um, should I put, you know what? Destructo did so well in that last race. I'm gonna put Destructo in this one, and hopefully things will things will go well. I don't know. I was I wasn't feeling that Sapphire race until that end, but Destructo definitely earned himself another race. And we we know that Sanek's gonna be put into the last race because the last race is a ton of running, so we definitely need running there. But man, I was not expecting all of that to come from Destructo. That was really good stuff. Let's look at this lineup of Chow here. Oh, what? Wait, wait a trip. This this white Chow that was just screaming or something for some reason. That white Chow is a hero power Chow, and this red Chow next to Destructo is a power, neutral power Chow. That's actually what um what's his face? Uh oh, actually that's what Destructo is gonna look like. Destructo should be looking just like that if Destructo was red. Or regular colors, you know? So Destructo would look like this. But Destructo is silver, so Destructo has some different colors. We're doing really well, despite not actually having good run. But this flying part is the best thing that I was expecting. But, I mean, even that's not doing so well. This Sonic Chow is in first because of the running. Which is actually a lot of this race. So I didn't really not expect that to go. But we're not, we're not doing horrible. Oh, well... If you want to just stand there, maybe we're doing horrible. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to win this race. That's too bad. However, we do have a Chow that can dominate this race, which will be shown right after this one because we're about to finish this. Wow, we came... Oh, 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 I thought we were going to come in uh, last, or second to last at least, but it looks like we came in fifth. Yeah, fifth isn't too bad. I'll take that. That Chow's a lot of running, and there's a lot of luck based. If we had taken the shortcut area, we would have definitely won that one because he probably would have flown across most of the water and wouldn't even have to worry about any of the swim, and it's the shortcut, so it would have been super easy. But we are going to throw Sanic into this because Sanic has 2,000 run, that 99 level, and we know Sanic can win this. Sanic actually has the record for this, which completely devastated anything the Chow did in that last race. They got there at like 108 or something, and he his best finish on this is 101 so yeah definitely definitely throwing stuff oh well if you have a bad start you might not do so well but oh goodness look at him go oh man those bunny feet really help he is so much faster than them that is domination right there there's a lot of tripping but either way he look at him go holy crap oh is he taking the shortcut no okay actually you know what i think it's better for him to not take the shortcut because he doesn't have good fly he doesn't have good swim, so if he took the shortcut, he wouldn't be able to. He'd, he'd be in. He'd not be in his element. But when he takes, when he doesn't take the shortcut, he's up here where it's just a bunch of running, which is his element. So I definitely think that's better for him. We might actually even see how is how is number six ahead. I was gonna say six is all the way back here. There's no way. We're almost at the end. Yeah, look at this. It wasn't even close. And we're about to break the record. And, you know, I think that's because on the record, he actually took the shortcut and took the slow way. So, yeah, it does look like it's faster for him to take the longer way just because all he can do is run. He's not very good at flying or swimming. Well, look at that. Sanic came through once again. Now we only have one more race. One last race. And I'm really excited because I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be able to beat these. I wasn't sure if my Chow were going to be strong enough. I mean, I know they had 99 in, each, in their stats, but their stats weren't super fantastic. I mean, look at Frown Jr.'s 1,300 at 99 and Jeff's 1,200 at 93. So I knew their stats weren't even that great. So I was kind of worried, but I don't know. We, we've been showing things up. Now we just need Sanic here to win this Emerald course, which he should. The Emerald course is... It, it, it is supposed to be a culmination of all of the of all the stats, but really you want yeah look at this all of these run chow every single one of these okay almost all of them are run chow it looks like maybe three aren't two or three I don't know what that hero chow is I I never remember what the hero chow is supposed to be I think that might be a run hero chow I could be wrong but we do have let's see there's that kind of bluish one 
There's the there's the there's, so there are three blue chows. There's this uh, no not this bro. Come on, work with me. This bro who's definitely Sonic Chow. This bro who's who's the most Sonic Chow we have seen yet. That's probably what uh, Sanic looks like when Sanic's not gold. Also, I'm glad we didn't take the shortcut. That's good. Then we've got this other blue one. We've got this bro who's a swim chow, but he didn't even take the swim. We've got this bro who's a running chow. Then, of course, we've got Sanic, who it says I'm in third right now, but I'm completely dominating everyone else, so I don't know what it's talking about. Let's see, it says fourth here? Uh, yeah. How, th that bro's not in first, thank you very much. I don't know why it's so bad at reading who's in first when someone takes a shortcut or not. That's so weird. It, it's like I'm clearly in front of everybody. I'm past where the shortcuts merge and everything, but for some reason it doesn't think that... I'm in first? I don't know. It's it's really weird. They didn't program that very well. Oh, man. Look how far ahead we are. These guys don't stand a chance. The person in second is just now getting down, and we're going down the second one? Oh, this is going to be good. This is this is very good. I definitely think we're going to win this. I know we have, we, have a, we have a bunch of climbing, we have some flying, we have some swimming left, and Sanic's not very good at any of that. However, Sanic is fantastic at running, and that's what really matters. See, Sanic's almost at the top of this, and the bro, and bro behind isn't very good at climbing either, because he's a Sonic chow, so... Oh no! Okay, well this isn't good. Oh man, this is not good. Come on, Sanic. Alright, alright, we're back in this. Oh, this is going to get down to the wire, isn't it? These chow back here, what are they going to do? That's, that swim chow is going to be powerful. And I don't know what this hero chow is. I think it might be power. I think that's what the power looks like. Usually red means power, but I can't... Those, oh wait, those are those are a bunch of seal parts. It's probably a swim. Oh, that's not good. If it's a swim chow... Oh man, things are getting close. Things are getting close. I can see them. They're coming. Oh no, that swim chow is going to be a problem. Can we do it? Can we do it? I think we can. It's going to be... Oh, it's going to be so close. Come on, Sanic. I believe in you. Oh no, that chow is coming up. Okay, as long as, as, long as we don't rest as soon as we get out of the water. We're good. We got this. Oh, come on, Sanic. Yes! Woo! Okay. Woo! Thank goodness. And we got that nice little, uh, um, emerald? Not emerald. Wait, it is emerald. No, it is, an, it is an emerald. This is the emerald course. So yeah, I guess I didn't mention that, but after you beat the jewel races, you get a, um, you get a fancy little gem on your chow. Which, we beat all of the jewel races! We got every single race completed, our chow came through! That is what I'm talking about. Let's see. Yep, alright. So, Frown Jr. here, you can see now is emblazoned with a... Emblazoned? Emboldened? I have no idea what word I'm looking for right there. But, Frown Jr. has a ruby right now. And hopefully, I'm glad that I did races with everybody, because that means almost everyone, well, I, all of the originals have a new thing. So, sorry, Sanic, I know you're drawing something, but yep. So, Sanic has this fancy dancy emerald. I guess Sanic also could have had the amethyst, but it's alright that it doesn't. Then, um, what course did you do? I don't remember, Jeff. Uh, what was left? Garnet and. Was it Paradise? I don't remember what the course was. Maybe maybe you did Amethyst? Well, whatever. You've got one too, and I think Destructo should have one as well. Yes. So, all of our Chow are looking mighty fine. They've got all sorts of stuff. We finished all the Chow races. We got all of the uh, emblems from the Chow that we needed to get. There's pretty much nothing else that we have to do with the chow, but I want to do one final update after the game's over in a bonus episode. I'll do it, I'll probably do it as the very final episode, and there will be an update showing all the chow looking at their best as they can be when they've all got their second evolutions. I'll have that silver, or not the silver, the uh, shiny white chow, at least first evolution, looking mighty fine. And I will, I will see you guys then. Um, in the next episode, we're going to be covering Mission Mode. Mission Mode is something that is exclusive to Sonic DX. And you don't have to do it if you're doing Sonic Adventure for 100%. And technically, we don't have to do it for 100%. I 
think. I don't remember if there's any kind of... I think there's just one kind of reward for it, but it's... It's not like it gets you any emblems or anything. A lot of people consider 130 emblems to be 100%, but I do not consider that to be 100%. I'm doing everything I can, so we'll be heading off to mission mode for real this time, not trials. We're actually doing missions. Oh, oh, hello. How are you flying? We will be doing missions in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed seeing all our chow and everything that they're doing, watching them dominate those races. And if you did enjoy this video, please click that like button. Remember, you can always click subscribe if you want to stay updated on all my videos coming out. And I hope I will see you in the next episode, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.